a blessed day to everyone. Our topic for today, because Christ died for us. We have forgiveness of sin. Romans 5, 1 to 11. Therefore, since we have been justified through faith, we have peace with God through our Lord Jesus Christ, through whom we have gained access by faith into this grace in which we now stand and we boast in the hope of the glory of God. Not only so, but we also glory in our sufferings because we know that suffering produces perseverance, perseverance character, and character hope. And hope does not put us to shame because God's love has been poured out into our hearts through the Holy Spirit who has been given to us. You see, at just the right time when we were still powerless, Christ died for the ungodly. Very rarely will anyone die for a righteous person, though for a good person, someone might possibly dare to die. But God demonstrates His own love for us in this. While we were still sinners, Christ died for us. Since we have now been justified by His blood, how much more shall we be saved from God's wrath through Him? For if, while we were God's enemies, we were reconciled to him through the death of his son, how much more, having been reconciled, shall we be saved through his life? Not only is this so, but we also boast in God through our Lord Jesus Christ, through whom we have now received reconciliation. Mula po sa mga verses na binasa natin para sa araw na ito, tatalakayin po natin ang isang topic na pinamagatan po natin because Christ died for us. At ang topic pong ito, tatalakayin natin sa tatlong bahagi, beginning today, part 1, that because Christ died for us, we have forgiveness of sin. Because Christ died for us, we have forgiveness of sin, and His death was for our redemption. Romans 5, 6-8 You see, at just the right time, when we were still powerless, Christ died for the ungodly. Very rarely will anyone die for a righteous person, though for a good person, someone might possibly dare to die. But God demonstrates His own love for us in this. While we were still sinners, Christ died for us. Colossians 1.13-15 for He has rescued us from the dominion of darkness and brought us into the kingdom of the Son He loves, in whom we have redemption, the forgiveness of sins. The Son is the image of the invisible God, the firstborn over all creation. Ang bawat isa po sa atin ay makasalanan. Ngunit sa biyaya ng Diyos, binigay niya si Kristo para sa atin. At ang kamatayan ni Kristo sa krus, ginawa niya ito because God wants to redeem us from our sinfulness. Christ died for us because we are sinners. And His blood washes away our sin. 1 Peter 1, 18-20 says, For you know that it was not with perishable things such as silver or gold that you were redeemed from the empty way of life, handed down to you from your ancestors, but with the precious blood of Christ, a lamb without blemish or defect. He was chosen before the creation of the world, but was revealed in these last times for your sake. Revelation 1.5 And from Jesus Christ, who is the faithful witness, the firstborn from the dead, and the ruler of the kings of the earth, to him who loves us and has freed us from our sins, by His blood. Dahil namatay si Kristo para sa atin, yung dugo na dumanak mula sa Kanyang katawan, ito ang ginamit ng Diyos upang mahugasan ang ating mga kasalanan. And not only are we washed away, not only are our sins washed away, but with this blood, we are set free from the darkness, from the bondage of sin and death. Because Christ died for us, we have forgiveness of sins, because His grace for our forgiveness can be accessed by faith. Romans 5, 1-2 says, Therefore, 
since we've been justified through faith, we have peace with God through our Lord Jesus Christ, through whom we have gained access by faith into this grace in which we now stand, and we boast in the hope of the glory of God. Romans 3, 22-25 says, This righteousness is given through faith in Jesus Christ to all who believe. There is no difference between Jew and Gentile, for all have sinned and fall short of the glory of God, and all are justified freely by His grace through the redemption that came by Christ Jesus. God presented Christ as a sacrifice of atonement through the shedding of His blood to be received by faith. He did this to demonstrate His righteousness because in His forbearance He had left the sins committed beforehand unpunished. Dahil sa ginawa ni Kristo para sa atin, meron po tayong pag-asa na mapatawad sa ating mga kasalanan. And we can receive the forgiveness of our sins, this precious grace that comes from God, this amazing grace that comes from Him by believing, by having faith, by coming to God with faith, believing that what He has done for us is sufficient to wash away all our sins. Because Christ died for us, we have forgiveness of sins. His death, was for our redemption. His blood washes away our sin. His grace for our forgiveness can be accessed by faith. Acts 3.19 says, Repent then and turn to God so that your sins may be wiped out. The times of refreshing may come from the Lord. Aming Diyos at aming Ama, pinapaalala niyo po sa amin na sa ginawa ni Kristo, when He died for us, we have forgiveness of sin. At lumalapit po kami to recognize this truth and to believe by faith that it is true and that we can receive forgiveness for all our sins. Ngunit hindi lang po kami lumalapit upang sabihin sa inyo na kami makasalanan. Lumalapit po kami dahil gusto naming talikuran ang pagiging makasalanan. And we come asking you by your blood to wash away our sinfulness and enable your people even today to experience times of refreshing that comes from the Lord. Pagpalain mo ang bawat isa na nanood at nakinig nitong Rise Up Daily Devotional Video Message and enable us to grow deeper in our understanding of what Christ has done for us. We bring you glory. In Jesus' name, Amen. Salamat po sa inyong pananood nitong Rise Up Daily Devotional Video Message. At kung nais yung nagapin si Jesus, Bilang personal Lord and Savior, I would like to ask you to repeat this prayer after me. I recognize that I am a sinner, and I ask God to forgive me my sins. And I accept Jesus as my personal Lord and Savior. Amen. Kung ginawa niyo po ang prayer na yan, tinigap niyo si Jesus bilang personal Lord and Savior. And I would like to encourage you to grow in your faith in God. Gawin niyo na pong habit na panoorin itong Rise Up Daily Devotional Video Message araw-araw. All you have to do is to add us on Facebook by going on the search and typing my Facebook email account, riseupglobal at yaw.com or my Facebook account name, Guevara Roman. At kung meron po kayong mga play request, huwag po kayong magdalong isip na ipadala ito sa aming inbox at makakaasa po kayo na kayo ay aming ipapanalangin. God bless you all and see you tomorrow.